If I had to pick one word, I would use relieved because it gives us hope for getting back to normal. I know exactly what my word is. It's confident. We have earned, <laughs> we have earned a good year coming up and uh, we are going to work together just like we always did with all the, re all the restrictions of, um, of uh, a pandemic and, um, it, and we are now a stronger team to be able to accomplish this in a way that we weren't able to do this before. My word is hopeful. I'm hopeful that we can return to some kind of normal, that we can hug our families and get together with our grandchildren and, and relatives and friends. I'm really hopeful and happy that we have the vaccine and that more people will take it. If I had to pick one word about living through COVID for the past year, it would be fulfilling. I've spent a lot of time working in the vaccine clinic and the public is so, so thankful and it's very rewarding. If I could pick one word, that word that comes to mind is gratitude. And the reason I feel gratitude is, first of all, to be part of the East region during the peak of COVID, that I was able to stay healthy. Most of my colleagues were able to stay healthy. I had everything I needed. But also, I'm grateful that I wasn't responsible for making my family sick and that they stayed healthy too. If I had to pick one word to describe living through COVID would be hopeful. Um, we've seen so many sad things that occurred during that time, but so many great things with the vaccine and how people have come together um, really gives me hope for our future. So one word I think that I would um, describe for this year would be appreciative. And the reason I'm saying that is because it gives you a big appreciation for the health that you have in your friends, your family, um, and just being able to enjoy life prior to COVID. So I'm very appreciative for what we have and what we have to offer. Um, if I had to think of one word, it would be uh, optimistic. So I'm optimistic that, you know, in the fall schools will be open, that, um, you know, the patients are going to come freely back to the emergency department and seek care that they need to seek and that, you know, people are going to be able to do the things that we were doing pre-pandemic for the most part. So I'm very optimistic that we are getting things under control and in a future state, you know, we're going to be living a more normal version of reality than we are right now. If I had to pick one word, it would be hopeful because our COVID numbers are going down and it seems like we're going to be returning to normal sometime soon. <laughs> well, if I had to pick one word about the COVID, I would pick that we are moving forward and it's at a good pace, I believe. If I had to pick one word, it would be relief because our COVID cases are going down and we're seeing a lot less severe cases. If I have to think about one word, it's hopeful because the vaccines are very effective. So if I could sum it up into one word, it'd be healing. Um, prior to this job, I worked in the emergency department full time and I saw a lot of adversity, a lot of trauma, a lot of death, and it's time for our teams to heal um, and our families to heal.